Hey, grace and peace, and God bless you on this, the Lord's day, amen. I know you've been getting your praise and worship on, as have I, amen, and we're ready to hear this word of God that God has for us today. Now, God has me right where he needs me to be, and I pray that he has you right where you need to be, amen, because God has given me a word that is very critical and essential in the sermon series, Let It Be New. Now, this is the fourth sermon in the sermon series, and let it be new means that you're going to let go of what was, let go of what happened, and step into what is. Now, the reason why this message is critical, because it addresses the in-between state. It addresses how to recover and move on and move forward, because the Lord knows, hallelujah, that it is difficult and challenging to recover, amen? It's challenging, uh, Dr. Tim, to get my breath back. It's challenging to get back up on my feet, but not impossible. Yes, challenging, but not impossible. And because it's not impossible, we are equipped, hallelujah, and empowered, watch this, and blessed, dare I say, to get the job done in Jesus' name. So God is going to show us today through the word of how to recover and how to move on and move forward in Jesus' name. Now, before we get there, I want to share this video with you. I want you to check it out together. It's about the restoration power of God, that the God that we're in relationship with, the God that loves us, the God that created us, the God that knows everything about us, the God, hallelujah, that knows what it feels like to be tempted in every place yet without sin. That God, amen. Jesus is his name. He is the God of restoration. So he wants you to know that he's going to show up in your life. He's going to show out in your life. Amen. He's going to restore you and bring you to peace so you can move on and move forward into the next thing that God has for you. So come on, let's lean in. Let's check this video out. And then I'll be back with today's message entitled how to recover and move on and move forward. It is so. And so it is. Amen. Sometimes it's moments of brokenness which create the greatest transformations. Times where fear gives birth to faith, pain leads to healing, and chaos dissolves into peace. It's in these times we often see God more clearly. For in our deepest turmoil, He remains faithful. When our spirit is crushed, He remains strong. When our moment is too heavy, He carries the burden. As gold is refined by fire, we too are often refined by struggle. It's part of growing changing, becoming. Lately, the journey has been difficult. Our breath has been labored. Our steps uneasy. But we stand in faith, knowing who is leading us through this desert. The God of peace, the God of hope, the God of restoration. Hallelujah. Praise God. He is the God of restoration. Amen. And we give him praise right now in Jesus name. We exalt him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we give God all the glory, all the honor. Amen. In Jesus name. So wasn't that a good video? Amen. God is the God of restoration and we praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For what he's done. Glory to God. And we thank him. Just getting situated here so we can get right into this message today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So let's worship God right now in Jesus' name for being the God of restoration. Let's worship him right now. Hallelujah. Individually as well as corporately, let's worship him. Amen. So Father, we thank you today. We praise you today for being the God of restoration, Lord God, that there is nothing that has happened to us, oh Lord God, that is nothing that is happening to us right now, God. And there's nothing that will happen to us that you are not able to restore us. Hallelujah. Back to wholeness. Restore us back to wellness. Restore us back to, Lord God, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, to that, that completeness inside of you, oh Lord God, that we find in Jesus Christ. So we 
Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for being faithful unto us. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, God. We thank you that even when we've lost a loved one, you're able to restore and bring us into peace, God. Even when we've gone through different transitions in lives, in our lives, Lord God, you're able to restore us and bring us into peace perfect peace, Lord God, and keep us in your perfect peace, Lord God, as we keep our minds stayed on you. So we celebrate you. We worship you for being the God of restoration. You help us, oh Lord God, to recover our breath. You help us, oh Lord God, to recover our well-being, Lord God. When life has blindsided us, when life has thrown us curveballs, Lord God, when we've been challenged, Lord God, on this end and that end, God, we thank you today in Jesus' name that you are the God of restoration, God. And so, Lord, we come right now to this moment of preaching and teaching and sharing your word, Lord God. We pray today that the spirit of the living God will show up who is the teacher. He's here. He's going to show up wherever people are listening and whenever they're listening, Lord God, for you're the omnipresent God in Jesus' name. And the Holy Spirit is the perfect teacher to guide us into all truth, Lord God. So we thank you right now in advance for spiritual understanding and revelation knowledge and wisdom, Lord God. We thank you for insight Lord God. We thank you that our eyes are always open to you, always open up to your word. Our hearts are open to you right now. Our minds are open up to you right now. In Jesus' name, we remain open to the new thing that you're doing, God, in our lives. In Jesus' name, we perceive it, we know it, and we will take heed to it. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you that new wine must be put into new wine skins, God. And we declare in Jesus' name, by the grace of God, hallelujah, that we are new wine skins and that we're ready to receive the new wine in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name that we have processed and are processing what has happened to us, oh God. Hallelujah. And what we've gone through, oh Lord God, so that we can progress. We thank you, Lord God, for threshold work, Lord God, in Jesus' name. So today, God, we now pray that you would allow, hallelujah, your spirit to lead us and guide us through the scriptures today, as we uh, attempt, oh Lord God, to and strive, Lord God, to hear from you as it relates to how to recover and move on. How to recover and move on. Holy Spirit, have your way. Bless, lead, guide, save today, deliver today. Miracles, signs, and wonders will follow your word. Hallelujah. And back up your word today. In Jesus' name, Lord God, it will not. Your word will not return unto you void. It will accomplish everything you want it to. We give your name the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Worldwide, we thank you for the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, it is so. And so it is. Amen. Well, beloved, Hallelujah. Today we're going to talk about and continue, hallelujah, in the sermon series, Let It Be New. Now remember, that's a principle. That's a life work principle, meaning that, hallelujah, you can apply it to your life in a very uh, practical way to your everyday life. And here's what that principle means. Again, the name of the principle is Let It Be New. And it means, beloved, hallelujah, that you let go of what was You let go, hallelujah, of what happened and you step into what is, amen? And we've been teaching on this for the entire month of April, amen? And so, Father, I mean, so saints of God, we are just excited to be now at the fourth sermon in this series, and this series, uh, in this message, and this message is entitled, amen, How to Recover and Move On. So we're going to tag that message, tag today's message, how to recover and move on in Jesus' name. Now, beloved, uh, the scripture that we're looking at is found in the book of Revelations chapter three. The book of Revelations chapter three, verses two and three in the message version of God's word, amen? Again, that's Revelation chapter two and verses, chapter three, chapters, verses two and three is the word of God for today. Man, this is our central text. The word of the Lord says, reading in the message translation, and here's God's message through Jesus Christ to the pastors of the different churches, uh, the seven churches, and to this particular one is the church of Sardis. And here the Lord says to them, uh, up on your feet, glory to God, take a deep breath, up on your feet, take a deep breath. 
May there, uh, maybe there's life in you yet, but I wouldn't know it by looking at your busy work. Nothing of God's work has been completed. Your condition is desperate. Hallelujah. Can you relate to that? Glory to God. Hallelujah. My condition is desperate, God. Hallelujah. My son's condition, my daughter's condition, my condition, our condition is desperate, God. Hallelujah. And then the word of the Lord goes on and says, think of the gift you once had in your hands, the message you heard with your ears, grasp it again and turn back to God. If you pull the covers back over your head and sleep on oblivious to God, I'll return, hallelujah, when you least expect it, break into your life, hallelujah, like a thief in the night. So far the word of God in Jesus name, hallelujah. So again, I said, we're tagging this message, how to recover and move on, hallelujah. Now my first observation when I looked at this a passage of scripture, amen. And the context, once again, as I stated, this is where uh, the spirit of the Lord is writing to the different churches. And these churches are in transition. They're moving. Hallelujah. They're in transition. And God is doing something inside of them. And so God sends a message to the angel or the pastor or the leader, amen, of these churches so that he can then, hallelujah, uh, relay that message and translate that message to the people of God who comprise the body of Christ and who comprise the church, that local assembly. And so as he's sharing this message with them, this is a message, hallelujah, not of condemnation, but uh, only, but of commendation as well. So God in this message, hallelujah, he, he, he says, okay, here's something that I must ask you to correct and here's something that you're doing well. And so right here in this message, the first point I, I looked at and I see here is that of letting go. Amen. It is hard. I'm sure you will agree with me that when you're trying to move on, when you're trying to move forward, when you're trying to pull your life back together after some blindsided blow, after some uh, gut-wrenching blow, that kind of blow that knocks your breath out, that kind of experience or event that happened in your life that challenges you. It's hard, not impossible, but it's hard to get back up and, and get up on your feet like the scripture says, up on your feet and take a deep breath. Well, it's hard to do that uh, just like that. But what you have to learn to do, hallelujah, is through the process of moving on, you have to also learn, watch this, to let go. Amen. Now, letting go is one of the hardest things we, we can do in life is because uh, we're creatures of habit and uh, letting go means that there's change. Letting go means that what we were used to and comfortable with has now been disrupted by life event, uh, by a transition in life. And, and so now we got to let go. We got to adjust. We have to adopt, hallelujah, or adapt, hallelujah, to a new way and then adopt a new mindset. Amen. So you have to adapt and adopt, hallelujah, because you now have to let go of what was and you have to let go of what happened. So letting go is essential. And I saw that right there in the text that God is saying to us before you can faithfully, authentically, genuinely, hallelujah, move on. You have to learn how to let go, how to recover and recovering. Letting go is a part of your recovery. I'm going to say that again. Letting go is a part of your recovery in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? See, I raised the question how do you recover and move on after, hallelujah, I've personally experienced some loss in my life, amen? And I'm sure that you can agree with me that that question gets raised in our lives. How do I move on after a breakup? How do I recover and move on after the death of a loved one? How do I move on and, 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 and how do I recover and move on after I lost my job? How do I recover and move on after a transition in my life? after a disappointment, after another one of life's transitions, how do I move? How do I recover and move on? Glory to God. And so I'm glad you asked that question with me because the text, hallelujah, glory to God, can bear that out. The text can handle it. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. So the tension in the text right there in the middle, right there, hallelujah in the beginning, is that God is saying to us that he needs us to be up on our feet and take our breath. Amen. Glory to God. He needs you up on your feet, amen? So how do I get back up on my feet? And so the first three, the first uh, uh, opening lines of that chapter, of that verse says, up on your feet, 
Take a deep breath. Maybe there's life in you yet. If you're going to move on, if you're going to move forward, then you must recover first. Hear me. The first two keys uh, to letting it be new has to do has to do with or deal with letting go. Recovery has to do, hallelujah, with you getting back up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because if the Bible says up on your feet, that presupposes that you're on your back. Hallelujah. That presupposes that you're on the ground. That presupposes that you've been knocked down. So why would God say up on your feet and take a deep breath if, glory to God, hallelujah, you're already on your feet, if you already had your breath, amen? So saints of God, right there in the, in the beginning, God is acknowledging that you do need to recover. God is acknowledging that something has happened in your life that has challenged you to your core. Something has happened in your life that has taken your breath away. Something has happened into your life, has happened in your life that, glory to God, has knocked you off your square or knocked you off your feet. In Jesus' name. So God says, hallelujah, to get back up. And why does he say this? Because, watch this, there is life still in you. Come on, make that confession and put it in the chat. Say it ain't over yet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It ain't over. Why? Because there's life still in me. Yes. Hallelujah. You've taken the devil's best shot. Yes, the enemy tried to take you out. Hallelujah. Yes, the enemy tried to throw you, uh, 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 get you to throw you in the towel and, 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 and give up and give out and give over and give in. But the devil is a lie in Jesus name. Why? Because there is life still in you. Come on. Let everything that have breath this morning, let every one of you that have breath this morning, praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, decree it and declare. Hallelujah. Put it in the chat. Put it in capitals, amen, that there is life in me yet. Glory to God. See, getting back up on your feet and taking a deep breath involves letting go of what was and what happened. This means, beloved, that you have to make a decision to let go of who left and what is no more. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. You have to make a decision. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything starts with your decision. God has initiated it by challenging you, glory to God, to get back up on your feet. God has initiated it by challenging you to take a deep breath. Now you have to respond to God's initiation. Hallelujah. What do you do, Pastor Tim? You decide, watch this, to let go of what left and who left. Hallelujah. Decide to let go of who left and what is no more. Hallelujah. I want to know today, hallelujah, are you struggling with letting someone or something let, hallelujah, are you struggling with letting someone or something uh, 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 that, 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 that hurt you and harmed you, are you struggling with letting that go? Hallelujah. Can you struggle with letting that person go? I know you loved it. Hallelujah. I know you loved her. Amen. I, I know you loved and appreciated that job, but are you struggling with letting that go? Are you trying to resurrect something God in his providence has declared that its time has expired? In Jesus name, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I say to you in Jesus name, what the Bible says, up on your feet, take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Now, God never commands anything of you that he does not at first equip you with the ability to do. Amen. So if God says up on your feet, then that means he's going to give you the power to get back up. Hallelujah. If God says take a deep breath, that means that he has provided, watch this, watch this, the breath for you to take. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's providing you with the wherewithal, the mechanism. Hallelujah. The machinery, the engineering to do that in Jesus' name. God has declared, hallelujah, for you to get back up on your feet, to take a deep breath. Why? Because he has equipped you. He has blessed you. Glory be to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Declare with me once again, there is still life in me. See, you cannot and I cannot, we cannot fully commit to the life remaining in us until we let go of what has left. Hallelujah. It is gone. He's gone. She's gone. Glory to God. It's no more. Put a period or an exclamation point there and then let it go. The Bible says, watch this, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 9, the Bible says that God, through Jesus, sets aside the first in order to enact the new plan God's way. Watch this. So the Bible says that what God does through Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he sets aside the first that he may enact the new plan, which is God's way. Hallelujah. It would be best 
to let go of what knocked you off your feet and what took your breath away than to try to hold on to it. Glory to God. Or to try and run it down and chase it back and get it back. Glory be to God. See, what God wants you to recover is not what left you. Glory to God. God does not want you to recover who left you. What God wants you to recover is the life that's still in you. Glory be to God. God wants you to recover, glory to God, your energy. God wants you to recover your focus. God wants you to recover, hallelujah, your joy and your hope, your peace, your expectation. Glory be to God. God does not want you to recover what was lost, glory to God, and what was and what moved on for you, glory to God, but he wants you to get back up on your feet and get your breath, hallelujah, and take a deep Deep breath. I love, I love that. Say to God, a deep breath, one of those deep cleansing breaths. Glory to God. One of those breaths that you take deep within where there is, watch this reflection and there is, hallelujah, contemplation and there is meditation, glory to God, and there is the releasing of everything toxic, glory be to God. Oh, take, take it right now. Take a deep breath right now and release the toxic, hallelujah, Re Release everything, the toxic relationship, the toxic past. Hallelujah. Release that thing in Jesus' name. Give it to God. Hallelujah. Cast it out of you. Glory be to God. Get those memories out of you in Jesus' name. Now, hallelujah. Watch this. He says, up on your feet, take a deep breath. Maybe there's still life in you. Now, upon letting go, you will discover that there is life still in you. When you start to let go, when you do the cleansing, when you do the, 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 the clearing out, when you accept, when you acknowledge and accept that that is gone, that he is gone, that she's gone, that that time in your life is gone, hallelujah, then you'll begin to discover that there is still life remaining in you. Hallelujah. That there's something in your life right now that demands your attention. Hallelujah. Right where you are. Glory be to God. Right now, right now, right now in Jesus name. I hear the Lord saying that there is something in your life right now that demands your attention. So the first thing you got to do and how to recover and move on is that you got to learn to let go. Yes. Hallelujah. And watch Jesus help you with it. For the Bible says that Jesus, hallelujah, sets aside the former. Hallelujah, what has expired, what has served its time, how he sets it aside that he may enact, establish the new, his plan. Saints of God, I'm going to challenge you today in Jesus' name with this second point. Practice being present. Hallelujah. What I saw in the word of the Lord, hallelujah, I'm going to challenge you right here because the Bible says, maybe there's life in you yet. Hallelujah. Maybe who left and what left, hallelujah, didn't take it all away. Maybe there's something still in you. Maybe there's some joy. Maybe there's some peace. Maybe there's some life in you yet. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it right here in Jesus' name. Keep living. Glory to God. Keep breathing. Glory be to God. Put it in the caps. Come on, declare it. I will keep living by the grace of God. I will keep breathing by the grace of God. Saints of God, hallelujah. The Bible says, maybe there's life in you yet, but I wouldn't know it by looking at your busy work. Nothing of God's work has been completed. See, beloved, what is the, 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 the author saying? What is God saying? What is Jesus saying? He is saying this. He says, your present behavior is inconsistent with your current status. Glory to God. He says, there is life still in you, but the way you're acting is inconsistent with what I declared. Glory be to God. God has, if you are breathing today, that means there's life in you. If you have your faculties, that means there's life in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even after the divorce, even after the loss, even after the disappointment, even after the death, there is life in you. Glory. There is resurrection after death. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But God is saying to them, he says, but I would know it by looking at you. Hallelujah. I wouldn't know it. See, somebody got to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, have, wash your face. Glory be to God. Wipe your tears. Glory be to God. Put your clothes on. Glory be to God. And get back up on your feet. Watch this. Why? Because the second observation is, is that you got to practice being present. See, your present behavior has to be checked and has to come in line with your current status. Amen. Glory be to God. There is life in you. You ain't dead. Glory to God. It ain't over. Hallelujah. Yes, it hurt. 
Hallelujah. Yes, it's painful. Hallelujah. But God can heal. God can restore. Hallelujah. He is the healer and the mender of broken hearts. He is your redeemer. Glory to God in Jesus' name. He is the recovery. Hallelujah. And the redeemer of life and the recovery of life and the restorer of life. Yes, he is. And so in other words, saints of God, what is God saying? He is saying to you today and I, he is saying it's, it's time for you to focus your energy your time and your resources on what is. Whatever, hallelujah, whatever was, hallelujah, or whatever happened is in your past. It's in your rearview mirror, hallelujah, and it should no longer be dominating your life. Whatever was, whatever happened, it happened, hallelujah, and it should no longer be dominating your life. He should no longer, she should no longer be dominating your life if they're in your past, which they are. So God says your behavior is consistent with your current status. So I need you to act like, I need you to change, hallelujah, your behavior to match what your current status is in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to in Jesus' name? See, listen, beloved, this is it. He says, whoever or whatever left did your favor. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. Whoever or whatever left your life did your favor. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He was high and lifted up in his train, filled the temple. He says, but until King Uzziah died, I didn't see the Lord. All I saw was this person. All I saw was this situation. All I saw was this predicament. All I saw was this problem. But when the problem passed, Glory to God. When the problem got moved out of the way, when the problem left me, it did me a favor because now I can see the Lord high and lifted up in my life. Hallelujah. Saints of God, I'm here to tell you, whatever left you or whoever left you, it didn't take all your life. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, you're still able to breathe. You're still able to move forward. See, saints of God, here's a deeper question. Let's go deeper. Can we go deeper? Someone say deeper. Hallelujah. Could God, have permitted whatever or whoever left you to show you what you can live without? <laughs> I, 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 could God, could this be in the providence of God or in the permissive will of God, hallelujah, that whoever or whatever left you did you a favor to show you what or you or watch this or who you can live without? Holly, you thought you could live without them. You thought you can live, you could not live without that. You thought you could not live without them. But since they left, hallelujah. Good. It hurt, but you're still living. You're still breathing, says God. And see, the devil is a lie. He wants to deceive you and trick you. Hallelujah. To get you to, 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 to co-sign and resign life. Hallelujah. And to sign off on life and say, well, I can't live anymore. Hallelujah. I can't go on anymore. Hallelujah. God wants you today, saints of God, in my second point, he wants you to practice being present. It's no time, as the scripture said, for you to pull the covers back over your head and sleep on, oblivious to God and the new thing that he's doing in your life. Hallelujah. It's not time, hallelujah, for you to act like, hallelujah, glory to God, that life is over. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, you got to get up on your feet. Hallelujah. You got to get out of bed. You got to pull them covers back down. Get up on your feet and take a deep breath and breathe again and keep living. Why? Because it's time to be present. It's time to be alert. It's time to wake up and pay attention to what's going on in your life right now. It's time for you to what? watch this. Reprioritize your energy, your time, and your resources in Jesus' name. Glory be to God, which brings me to my third and final point. Amen. Strengthen what remains. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So number one, hallelujah, you're going to watch this. Let it go. Number two, you're going to practice being present. And number three, you're going to strengthen what remains. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says, hallelujah, that yes, it's time to strengthen what remains? To strengthen what remains means you must consider what you have left. Hallelujah. You must consider, hallelujah, what has left you. You must consider who left. Glory to God. And then, watch this, consider what you got left. <laughs> Did you hear what I'm saying? You got to acknowledge, hallelujah, who left and what left, and then put your attention 
on who, on what you have left. Amen. What is remaining? What do you have in your hand? What do you got right now? What do you have around you right now? What do you have deep inside of you right now? You got knowledge. You got wisdom. You got understanding. You got experience. Oh, you don't hear me today. Since that person left you, you don't chuck all of that away. Hallelujah. You now got what? Experience. Glory to God. You have just built your resume. Glory be to God. You now have experience. You now know what it feels like to go through this. You know what it feels like to live through a transition, to live through a pandemic. You got experience now. So what do you have left? And whatever you got left, you got to strengthen it. You got breath left, strengthen it. You got got life left, strengthen it. You have friends left, strengthen it. Glory, strengthen them. All the glory to God. You have relationship left, strengthen them. You got a little money left, build it up. Glory be to God in Jesus' name. So what does this strengthening mean? In the Greek, it means build back up. Come on. Glory to God. Say it right. Say it with me. Build back up. It means to restore to health, to wealth and wellness again in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. To strengthen what remains means to cultivate new paths and explore new opportunities. To strengthen what remains means, saints of God, that you take inventory and you take stock of what you have left or who's left in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Who do you have around you right now that hung in there through the ups and downs? Who do you have around you right now that's been your ride or die that's still there with you? Not one of those fair weather people that was always with you when you were still getting paid and still was rising, but those who have been you been with you when you went through the tough times. Who do you have around you? Hallelujah. Number one, you got God. God. Hallelujah. You ought to strengthen your relationship with God. Hallelujah. How, how about we start right there? You got Jesus. You got the Holy Spirit. You ought to strengthen your relationship with God. You ought to acknowledge him and thank him. You ought to praise Jesus. You ought to praise the Holy Spirit for living inside of you through the storm. Glory to God. When everyone else left you, God was still there. When everyone else turned their back on you, God was still there. So strengthen that relationship. Strengthen your ties. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Strengthen the grip. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. God has a hold of you, but now it's time for you to get a hold of him and strengthen that relationship. Strengthen your prayer life. Glory to God. Strengthen your servanthood. Glory to God. Strengthen your giving. Glory be to God. Whatever remains, you ought to strengthen in Jesus' name. And then says to God, the reason why you ought to do it, the Bible said is because your condition is desperate. One translation said you got to strengthen what remains that's about to die. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I got a few minutes here. Hallelujah. Strengthen what remains that's about to die. God says your condition is desperate. Hallelujah. Don't act like you don't see it. Don't act like you don't know it. Hallelujah. You're in a desperate situation and desperate situation calls for desperate measures. Praise be to God. Now, I'm not talking about going crazy, but I'm talking about, hallelujah, anticipating, hallelujah, your resolve to strengthen that which remains. Hallelujah. You don't have time to be running down somebody that left you. Hallelujah. You don't have time to be running down something that walked away from you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Bless. Glory be to you. God bless you. Keep on moving and you keep on moving in Jesus name. You know, Kim, keep on moving. Hallelujah. Or keep it moving. Glory to God in Jesus name. Keep it moving. Glory to God. So you don't have time. You don't have time. You don't have energy to be wasting on something or someone that left. Hallelujah. All the while ignoring, watch this, those that are present, that are still with you. See, a lot of times what happens, saints of God, because we are so overwhelmed by who left and what left, we, 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 we ignore and neglect those who remain. Hallelujah. As a pastor, I'm understanding that and I've been understanding that and growing in that area. Hallelujah. For 20, no, for 30 some years now. Glory be to God. 32 years I've had to learn how to what? Focus my attention on who remains. Hallelujah. Who are my ride and die? Who's loyal? Who's committed? Who's faithful? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And those that remain, that remnant, glory to God, that's who you are to strengthen. Glory be to God. You cannot squander your resources, your vitality, or your time on somebody that left. Hallelujah. Now watch what God is saying. He says, reflect on the gift you have in your heart, your head, and your hands. 
Hallelujah. Reflect on that. Meditate on that. Take inventory of that. Spend time with that. Amen. Appreciating that. And then watch this. Grasp it again and turn back to God. Hallelujah. Pick up the pieces of your life. It's been shattered. Pick up the pieces of your life. Your hopes, your dreams been dashed. Pick up the pieces of your hopes and dreams. Your heart's been broken. Pick it up. Hallelujah. And watch this. Grasp it again and turn back to God. Get a grasp on your life again. Glory be to God. Get back on the right track. Glory be to God. Who derailed you? Who betwixt you? Who got you off course? They left now. God be praised. They did your favor. Now it's time for you to get back on track. It's time for you to let go what was Let go what happened and step into what is. It's time to focus on who is remaining. And I decree in Jesus' name that it is a new day in your life. Let it be new when. Now, see, saints of God, does who or what remains know that you value and appreciate them? Glory to God. Do you value and appreciate yourself? That you didn't quit. You didn't lose your mind. You didn't give up. Hallelujah. You ought to, glory to God, do some self-care right about now. Hallelujah. Glory to God, do some self-care and some soul care right now in Jesus' name and start appreciating and valuing yourself again. Glory to God for the person that you are, for the wonderful person that God made you, for not only the survivor, but the thriver that God has, hallelujah, destined you to be. Hallelujah. And saints of God, you have to do it. Watch this with intensity. You have to do it. Hallelujah. Not only with intensity, but you must do it with intentionality. Amen. You have to be intentional about it in the name of Jesus. So I tell you right now, it's time for you to accept. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was and what happened and step into what is. It's time for you to recover and move on. And put the work in and on what remains. Because I'm here to tell you, what remains, glory to God, is what God has ordained. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible was talking about, that that we're going to experience a shaking. Glory to God. And everything that cannot be shaken will remain. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, after the last shaking you've been through, whatever remains, hallelujah, that's the thing that you strengthen. That's who you strengthen. Hallelujah. And it's not going to be your last shaking. Amen. You're going to go through another shaking because that's the way life is. You're going to go through different transitions, but you now have the word that backs up and encourages you and shows you how to recover and to move on. I'm praying for you in Jesus name that you let go of what was, let go of what happened, step into what is and let it be new. It's time, beloved. My brother, my sister, it's time to recover and move on in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today for your word. I thank you today for the ministering of the Holy Spirit. I thank you today in Jesus' name that we have the anointing, the authorization, the power, the victory to prevail, to recover and move on. I thank you today that through the power of the Holy Spirit that lives within us, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, that we can recover and move on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing us who and what we can live without. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing us how to move on by strengthening what remains, beginning with our relationship with you and then learning how to appreciate ourselves and those relationships that remain. It's in Jesus' name we pray for salvation that the unbeliever today will hear the good news that you love them. John three sixteen that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We pray today that the unbeliever today will accept Jesus Christ who loves them and wants to restore them, that they will receive Jesus today. And we pray for the believer today, that they will be encouraged today and be transformed and empowered by this word. We lift it up 
and we decree and declare that it is so. And so it is in Jesus name. Amen. Well, beloved, hallelujah. I pray today in Jesus name that you would follow suit on what the Holy Spirit is prompting you to do in Jesus name. Remember our takeaways for the day were decide and, and do the letting go. Amen. Practice being present and strengthen what remains. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer and you hear the Lord speaking to you and, and, and tugging on your heart, amen, hallelujah, we want you to get connected, hallelujah, to Christ. Because at in New Beginnings Community Church Worldwide, we believe in the power of connection to transform lives, to change the world. And that can only happen as you're connected to Christ, to his church, and to his commission, amen. So we want to help you. We want to help to facilitate that, to encourage that, hallelujah, to first and foremost connect you to Christ. Amen. So we preach the gospel. We spread the gospel. We walk the gospel, talk the gospel. We share the gospel. And we do this as we've done today. Amen. Not only on Sundays, but throughout the week. And hallelujah. We pray that you'll get connected to Christ. Hallelujah. You'll get connected to his church because every believer needs a pastor. You need to be connected. You need to be covered. Hallelujah. Not only with a pastor, but the, then you need to be connected to brothers and sisters in Christ. You need to know that you're part of a family. Amen. Hallelujah. And the big C church. Amen. I'm talking about the church universal. So come on. Hallelujah. Reach out to us. Hallelujah. And we'll reach out to you. You can put it in the chat. Amen. Hallelujah. We got people that are watching right now that will speak to you and direct you right where you are in the chat. You just say, I just want to be connected. I want to be connected to Christ. I want to be connected to the church. And they will respond to you. They're watching right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Glory be to God. Go ahead and do it. Hallelujah. Or you can follow that information right there on the screen. Amen. And how you connect. It could take you to a connect form. You can put your information in there and we will respond to that and add you to the fellowship. Amen. In Jesus name. And then get you some information that you need and then begin to just walk with you through life called discipleship. Amen. Glory be to God. Or you can call the church number right there on the screen. Amen. God bless you for doing that. And then finally, saints of God, I want to thank you all. Hallelujah. It's time to give. And I want to thank you, amen, that you have an opportunity to give. We call it grace to give, amen, because God does it. He makes all grace abound towards us so that we can have what we need to give and to share, amen. So I thank you for giving. For those who have given, hallelujah. For those that will give now, hallelujah. Follow the information. You can text give, hallelujah. You can mail it in, amen. Hallelujah. And we will help you. Hallelujah. And we want you to know that your gifts, they go to spread the gospel. Hallelujah. People say they want to see the fruit. Hallelujah. Of what they give. Well, know that. Hallelujah. People are being blessed. Wells are being dug. Rice is being bought. Amen. People are hearing about the message of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're helping families out locally and globally in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Because we believe. Watch this in the power of connection. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for giving and sharing. And we pray today that God will continue to provide you with all the grace that you need. Hallelujah. To continue to be a blessing to his kingdom and to your own life in Jesus name. It is so. And so it is. Amen. Well, listen, I've enjoyed spending time with you today. Amen. And so I want you to tune in this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we begin our new NBCC Facebook Connect. Amen. It starts, hallelujah. This past week was our beta week. Amen. So this week, tomorrow, beginning on tomorrow. Amen. Log on, accept the invitation. Hallelujah. To become a part of the NBCC Facebook Connect group. Amen. Where we're going to have relational, real uh, rap sessions. Amen. And it begins on tomorrow, Monday. Amen. You get a word, a scripture for the day, followed by some instructions. And tomorrow, Monday, we're going to unpack this message where you get to ask questions. You can put them in the in on the chat there uh, on the Facebook group. Amen. Or you can ask them right there live at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So that's it. Amen. Thank you for this time together. Now, next week, we're going to wrap up this sermon series entitled Let It Be New. In Jesus' name. Now remember, hallelujah, until next week, walk in the blessings of the Lord. Let it be new, amen. And now you know how to recover and move on in Jesus' name. God bless you. It is so. Hallelujah.